Okay, here I have logged into YouTube and picked one of uh, the infomercial commercials that I have previously created and uploaded to my YouTube channel. And when you first log on to YouTube and find the video or come here because you link to it from one of the other components in the system, then you'll see where you can play the video by clicking on the hi my name is or you can pause it and it will show the video here and the video uh, in this case was six minutes and 33 seconds long most of the infomercials are one or two minutes long but this is a training video that i have up here now now below the video is the comment section and in the comment section, uh, obviously, the description is here. Uh, you have some bullets where you can like it for YouTube, and you can share it with Facebook and Twitter there. And that's available for visitors to the video. Now, I put in the description here, uh, short description, sometimes longer descriptions below with uh, keyword enhanced all over the place so that whatever keywords we're trying to rank for in Google, uh, this will give it the link juice to do that. And also in every, in every case, we put a link back to our website or our Facebook page uh, or any advertisement that we've got on the internet and we'll do it in a hyperlinked fashion so that and when they move their cursor over the hyperlink, that link becomes linkable to wherever it is that I want them to go when they click on it. In this case, it'll go to my main website. The links here become link juice for Google searches. And since Google owns YouTube, they really rely heavily on all the links in YouTube and Blogger and other places that they own. But if you're trying to rank in the search engines for a particular keyword, if this description is full of those keywords and you have a link then to the place that you want to, to go to rank in the search engines, then this has plenty of power to get you there. Uh, to make it sound sort of ridiculous, if you had 500 videos, they link back to your website on the same keyword, obviously you would outrank your competition. So the linking strategy inside YouTube is very, very important. And then also YouTube gives us the ability to have categories and uh, tags, and the tags are also ways for people who are just searching YouTube videos with a keyword or a search term these tags then become important to get this video to come in YouTube for that search term. Now I have all of my videos set up to be auto shared. That means that once I upload the video, it is automatically notifying Twitter and Facebook of this link. And the link would be the link that goes to Twitter and Facebook is the link above can't see it on, well, let me move this down. It comes up here in the, this is the link to the video. And you'll see it says youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals. And there's your video number. And so this is the link then that goes to Twitter and YouTube. So that when someone clicks in Facebook, it will come back to this particular page, this exact page right here. And so that's how the videos are set up inside YouTube and why they're so important and why I have it as the first link or the first component in my system. Okay, that's about it uh, for this session. I appreciate your uh, tuning in for my video sessions and uh, look forward to giving you some more as we come up. The next one will be probably, I haven't decided yet, but it'll probably be on Facebook because that's the next most important cog in our wheel. So in the meantime, you may go to my website and get more information at daryl.com and that's spelled D-A-R-R-E-L, that's two R's and one L.com. 
and be sure you sign up to get on my list and you'll get more information from me as I produce it. Thanks.